Only when he just found out at his funeral that uh, Kit Kat was actually the one who was sending him, sending me the messages that Genius was talking yes, about. I, I didn't know that. that. All the time I thought I was talking to Genius, but he was sending his best friend to text because he was, um, you know, his English was not that good. And being a, a Debele girl and he was Shona, we couldn't really communicate in that in the native language. So hence his friend had to do that. I mean, imagine all the years the friend was communicating with me uh, yet I thought I was communicating with him. So I was literally in a relationship with both of them. But anyway, we then started dating, I think, 2009. And um, look, the age, he always, he always said to me, age is nothing but a number. And I think the first two years were a challenge, but I ended up ac accepting it that, look, he's younger than me. That is what he wants. That is what I wanted. And we started dating with a very good relationship. I think the basis of our relationship was friendship because we're more of friends more than anything else. Everything else was added on, but we're closer and tighter as friends than um, than the actual relationship, which is why even when we went our separate ways in 2018, we still remained very close friends and people never understood why we were still friends. Some others were saying they broke up, others were saying they didn't break up, others were saying we were together. We, we remained friends till the last day. Okay, so Zodwa, when that phone call came on Sunday, uh, early Sunday of the 8th of November, 2020, I know it's difficult to ask this, but how did you feel? You know what, when the phone call came, I didn't believe. I actually, I was called by Remo, I think, as he got to the accident scene. He called, said, Zodwa, Genius has been involved in a car accident. And I said, what? Normally when I sleep, I put my phone on silent. But that particular night, for, for one reason or the other, I, my phone was not on silent. He had called me around 1 a.m. in the morning because... Um, you know, Genius, when he went to the club, he would call at any time because he wanted everyone to club with him. But I was not one of those girls that loved clubbing. And also, you know, I, I'm, I, I've outgrown that life, you know, so I, I wouldn't go clubbing. He would call, come, let's do this, he would phone. So he phoned me at one in the morning, that particular Sunday. And he was just asking stupid questions, Genius being Genius. And then when Remo called me, I couldn't believe it. He says, Genius has had an accident and he just started crying. And I said, is Genius okay? He said, no, Genius is dead. Where are you? I'm on Borodel Road. He didn't, couldn't tell me which part of Borodel Road. I, I, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. I just jumped out of bed, went out of my room. I told my kids. My eldest daughter just started throwing up. The younger one started vomiting as well. I didn't know what was going on. I went downstairs wearing my pyjamas, got into the car. I realized I was wearing pyjamas. I went back up. I changed. I tried to drive. I couldn't drive. I had to ask my driver. Fortunately, my driver was at home. Like, look, can you drive me? Genius has just had a car accident. I told everyone else. His aunt was at my house that weekend. And, um, and one of his bro younger brother's wives was also at my house that same, that, same, that same day. So I just told them, and then I just drove off. I went to the accident scene. When I got there, I couldn't believe. I thought maybe he was going to wake up. I got there. I tried to go to his, to, to his body. He was lifeless. They'd covered him with leaves. It was, it, it was you know, I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish that on, any, on anybody. He, he, the, the, the other people that died with him, it was painful to hear the screams and people. I, I got there literally, I think less than about 10, 15 minutes after the accident had happened. It was painful. It still is painful. It's really difficult for us all. The family is very difficult. Genius was very close to me. We we're quite close to each other. People, like they say, they would never understand the relationship I had with Genius. No one can ever understand that. Up to the day of his death, the previous weekend before he died, I went for a function um, in his area. And then after the function, I decided, oh, let me go and see Genius. I've not seen him in a while. I think I've not seen him in a week or so. I went there on a Saturday. I go to his house. Usually, I, I would never just go to his house. Just like we just not come to mind. We would phone each other. Are you okay? Are you free? Can I come through? I would go and visit him. So that Saturday, I just went to visit him. He was shocked to see me by his gate. I said, no, it's okay. I've just come to see you. Check if you're okay. It's been a while. He got there. I think it was around three, four in the afternoon. 
I spent literally the whole afternoon into, into the night around 11, 12. Then I came back home. He was now going to the club. That's actually the last time I saw Genius. It was, it's like I went there to say goodbye. I have no regrets. At least I, I, I got to spend some time with him. I spent a good four, five, six hours with him. We had dinner. And then he went to the club. Then I went home. And fine, I spoke to Genius. He's one of those people that every day of my life, after my exercise, 6 a.m., I'm done. First person I call is Genius. If I didn't call him by half past six, he would call. Wang, the AP, are you okay? Is everything okay? What's going on today? That was Genius for you. We had a very good relationship. We understood each other. I don't think there will be anyone that we, I can ever, or any friend or male friend that can get me the way Genius got me. Genius understood me that even before I lied to him about anything, he said, ah, Wang, we are lying to me. Why are you saying that? I know you are lying. He knew me very well. He read me like a book. That's genius for you. But God's time, always God's time. He took him when we're not expecting. He's the least people. I remember when I was still staying with him in Lomboshawa, he used to say, this is where I want you to be buried. This is where we are going to be buried. And he always believed I was going to die before him. I think maybe because of the age difference, he always thought I was going to die before him. But unfortunately, he went before me. And I have got no regrets. He was a good man. We shared what we shared, and I would do it over again. So, Zodwa, were you really married to Ginebu? Well, on the time of his death, we were, separate, we were divorced. We were no longer living together. We got engaged. He paid his bride price. We never had a white wedding, but um, traditionally, yes. Okay, and how was your... Um separation like uh, was your separation amicable it was very amicable that's why i mean if it was rough i'm sure you guys you know social media in zimbabwe people don't talk they still said so much rubbish we agreed to disagree i was not happy he, he didn't want me to leave but for some reasons uh, best known that I cannot share publicly, I mean, he's, he's not here to defend himself. So even if I say it, what we agreed, what we did not agree, he's not here. So I'm not going to talk about them. We are going to genius. Separate, but we make, we make. He came to my house whenever he wanted. He had a very good relationship with my kids. Sometimes I'll come home, I'll find him having lunch or having dinner with the girls. They loved him to bits, especially the younger girl. My younger girl, Melissa, was, I think, five years when I started dating Genius. So literally, Genius is the father that she, that she knew, is the father that brought her, which is why she calls her dad. You know, being a father to somebody doesn't mean you're a biological father. You can be a father because you've raised the child up. Genius raised Musi up for me. He was there when Musi was a baby until now she's 19 years of age. And the only father that she really know is Genius. She, fine, she has a biological dad who is in England, but Genius was always there. Genius knows Musi even precious more than their biological father. Hmm. The, I know many people say the biological father is dead. He's not. He's alive. He's in England. There. He's there in England. He's, he, he, he did not pass away. He's a, he's, he is much alive. Okay, Zotwa, I mean, we all knew Genius Jinimbi as a playboy. I mean, that is something. I mean, for his age, he was still growing up. Someone really wanted to have fun. How did you deal with his many girlfriends? To be honest with you, I never met one one girl of genius i heard he had girlfriends people told me we've seen him with this one we've seen him that he had some too much respect for me he would never bring the girlfriends in front of me he would never flaunt them in front of me if i met up with him with a girl the girl was either kitties or brimes or dinos or rimos it was never his girlfriend and the girlfriends i don't know whether i can say it's stupid of them because i would never allow my men to introduce me to their woman as somebody else's uh, 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 girlfriend i would never allow that but for them they did they allowed that to happen even when i separated with genius if any time i went to his house if there were girls there they would be sneaked out he would hide them i would never allow that to happen so with me he he never showed me that that side of him i knew he was a player but i never caught him red-handed that i knew f that my man here i need to have a strong heart I was supposed to have a strong heart. I had a strong heart. Genius played. 
He enjoyed playing. He enjoyed partying. He enjoyed his life. I'm sure he actually has no regrets because there's nothing he did not do under this earth. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that genius did not do. He traveled the world. He played the most. He did everything that he wanted to do. But with Zodwa, Zodwa was always a wife. She must stay at home. The only place he would take me to is restaurants. We go and eat. That's all he did. Or we go to church together. That's all I was good for. He would tell me, you want to go clubbing? I only go to the club with bitches. Excuse the language. That's exactly what Genius would talk. So he went with the bitches to the club. The wife stayed at home. 